All right, now the leaders of the Asian nations have gathered in Dushanbe in Tajikistan for the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia. The External Affairs Minister, Dr. S. Jay Shankar, is representing India at the summit. Chinese Xi, President Xi Jinping, Russian President Vladimir Putin, Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan, Sri Lankan President Mathipala Sirisena and Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan are some of the other dignitaries who are attending this summit. The leaders will be discussing and will also be implementing measures for developing Asia into a prosperous, secure and peaceful region. Now, the CICA is a pan-Asian forum for enhancing cooperation and for promoting peace, security and stability in Asia. Now, India has in fact been a member of the CICA since its inception. The first CICA summit was attended by late Prime Minister Atul Bihari Vajpayee back in 2002 in Kazakhstan. Now, the theme of this year's summit is shared vision for a secure and a more prosperous CICA region. Now, this is a summit and is also likely to adopt a declaration covering issues of cooperation within the CICA. Now, India's Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar has also held meetings with his counterparts from Bahrain, Bangladesh on the sidelines of the summit. And during the meeting, Jay Shankar has reviewed the recent progress that's been made in bilateral ties with respective countries. Now, tensions continue to escalate between the United States and Iran. Now, U.S. President Donald Trump has in fact dismissed Iran's insistence that it was not behind the oil tankers' attack in the Gulf of Oman. Now, citing the video released by Washington, Trump has said, and I quote him here, Iran did do it and you know they did it because you saw the boat. The Washington, remember, had released this video that shows the Iranian forces removing an unexploded limpet mine from the side of one of the oil tankers that was attacked. And... Iran has, however, dismissed the U.S.'s claims. Remember, the Iranian Navy had been involved in the rescue of almost about 44 members, crew members of one of these tankers that was attacked. Now, Iran has said that the video, in fact, proves nothing and that it was being made a scapegoat. Now, Iran's arch rival in the region, Saudi Arabia, has also accused Iran for the tanker attacks. Saudi Arabia has said that Iran has a history of doing this. Britain has also agreed with the U.S. allegations. It has said that there is, at this point of time, no reason to doubt the claims. Now, following the attacks, Trump's administration is focusing on building international consensus and speaking with reporters. The acting U.S. Defense Secretary, Patrick Shanahan, has said that Iran is not just a U.S. problem. He's also said that the main goal of the United States is to ensure that the U.S. military commanders in the region get the resources and the support that they need. We have an international situation there in the Middle East. It's not a U.S. situation. And the focus for myself and Ambassador Bolton and Secretary Pompeo is to build international consensus to this international problem. Now, addressing the issue, the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres has said that the truth needed to be clearly established. is also ordered for an independent investigation to establish facts. I said it's very important to know the truth, and it's very important that responsibilities are clarified. Obviously, that can only be done if there is an independent entity that verifies those facts. So, uh, whatever happens in the international community, we will be supportive of any initiative of this regard, provided it is to be independent. The two oil tankers were attacked in the wee hours of Thursday. They were in fact left to drift in the Gulf of Oman and the attack was flagged off by UK's maritime trade operations. The Britain's maritime operations have advised extreme caution for vessels sailing in the region amidst heightened tensions between the United States and Iran. Iran was proven uh, to, see, to be behind the attacks. Uh, these might be indicators that uh, the sanctions are biting and uh, at the same time that Iran is not really willing to do nothing in response to this sanction and also that it's not really willing to accept the negotiations offered uh, uh, by the U.S. side, probably because there is not enough incentives. Now, the incident comes just a month after four oil tankers were attacked off the coast of Fujairah in the United Arab Emirates. The United States had blamed Iran even at that time, but Tehran had denied the accusations. 
Remember, tensions have in fact been on the rise in the region after the United States pulled out of the Iranian nuclear deal and has imposed sanctions on Iran.